Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Super Julie Braun, she's awesome. She is with superinterns.com, and she's a regular contributor right here on The Price of Business and providing great content at priceofbusiness.com. Julie, my friend, how are you today? I'm doing great, Kevin. How are you today? Awesome. Tell us about your very unique, and I consider a, a, a uh, actual business disruptor in the way you've developed interns. It's phenomenal. I believe it's the future of all intern programs. And uh, tell us a little bit about what you've done. Oh, sure thing. So what we do is we work with businesses and organizations, and we help them grow successfully by utilizing interns. And we also help interns who can be anyone from 18 to 88. We help them get amazing internships that they can then leverage into careers. So we're really helping both sides of the equation. Yeah. I want to mention I am a client of Super Interns. And, I didn't, and I've had intern programs on and off for years. And I had no idea how poorly my intern program was until I became <laughs> a Super Interns client. I really realized in a devastating fashion, how little I knew what I was doing. And so uh, if you've been playing around with super, you know, with an intern program, stop playing around and do it for real by contacting uh, Julie over there at superinterns.com. Tell us about your guest today. Sure thing. So today we have Rand Fishkin, who is the leader of Moz, um, which is a fantastic SEO search engine optimization company. Rand, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Thanks, Julie. Great. So can you tell us a little bit more about your company and what it is that you do and what makes you so unique? Sure. Yeah, so we make, uh, we make software for marketers, specifically those who focus on, as you said, SEO, search engine optimization, trying to get their pages and sites ranked higher in Google so they can drive highly qualified web traffic. Very good. Oh. Very good. Tell us about the history. How long have you guys been doing this? Uh, gosh, we've been at it a little while. So I dropped out of college in 2001 and was doing consulting for a long time uh, until 2007. And then we built some tools that we were using to help our own clients and customers and decided we should open those up and make them available to anyone uh, for a subscription. And the business started taking off from there. So we've been at this uh, about seven years now. Yeah, you're almost a pioneer. That's almost going back to a period where people didn't even know exactly what SEO was. So that's pretty cool. Julie? Yeah, and um, Rand, you started you started the company with your mom. So that's kind of unique and different in the startup world, isn't it? I, I'm, I've never actually met anyone else who's uh, started a venture-backed company uh, with their mom, not certainly not in technology or software. I think that's a, a a unique badge for us. And how did that come about? Well, so my mom had been running a marketing consultancy for, gosh, 20 years. Um, and when I dropped out of college, I started building websites and, you know, doing some SEO consulting work uh, for her clients. So we, we were working together. And that partnership continued all the way through to 2007 and through our funding. Uh, and in 2012, we took a second round of, of capital, and Jillian, my mom, stepped off uh, the board of directors and uh, took a little financial exit, uh, which I think has been really nice. And now she and my dad travel all over the world and have lots of fun, which is, which is terrific. Yeah, that's a, that sounds fantastic. Let me ask you about the profile, if you will. What's a good client for, for a business like yours, for your particular business, rather? Sure. So we really try and target uh, SEO professionals, right? Marketers who have deep knowledge about how Google and Bing work and how to drive traffic to their sites. Um, we offer a lot of free resources for people who want to learn how SEO works and, and get into that field. Uh, but really, our software is designed for someone who can say, yeah, I know what a rel canonical is. Sure, I know how to implement Ahreflang. Yes, I understand the difference between editorial and non-editorial links. Uh, that's our target customer. Um, but we love helping small and medium businesses of all kinds and professionals of all kinds learn the basics and ins and outs of SEO. Very good. Julie? One of the things, Rand, that I know about your company and I hear all the time is the transparency in your business. Hmm. Can you share a little bit about how the transparency has helped you to be successful? 
Sure. So transparency is a little interesting for us. Um, and I think this is why so many people write about it in relation to Moz. Um, so we view transparency as a core value, which means we don't actually do it as a tactic to be successful. We do it because we believe in it more than we believe in making money. Um, there's a, one, one of my favorite quotes is from Ralph Larson about core values. And, and Ralph said, we would hold these values even if they became a competitive disadvantage. And that's really how we think about transparency. It's, um, it, it's very core to our being and to my being. And so we share things like um, when we fail at raising venture capital, um, I'll, I'll write a blog post detailing, here's all the folks we talked to, here's the pitches we gave, here's why it didn't work or why we think it didn't work. Um, we'll detail our financial numbers every year, uh, even when we have slowing growth, even when our customer numbers aren't looking great. Uh, we'll share that information in more detailed ways than many public companies do, even though we're a private company. We'll talk about our expenses, uh, how much we're spending on employees. We'll uh, talk about you know, our conversations that other people might view as being sort of back room. Um, we'll tell everyone anything we figure out about how Google and search works. Uh, and that's, that's just a deep belief that transparency is more important than the the raw success of the business that it's it's part of who we are as people yeah that's very good very good by the way uh why don't you give your website for people to be able to get more information yeah sure it's uh, moz.com m-o-z m-o-z dot com julie your question i'm curious about uh the leadership at moz uh, how how are the that the leaders managing your company, I guess you've got something like 140 employees, so that's quite a few people to manage. How does that work? Well, so we're, uh, we're actually relatively classic in terms of a technology company at this point. We've got a, a CEO who I, I was the CEO for many years, um, and just recently this, uh, this January I stepped down and, and turned over that role to our longtime COO, our chief operating officer, Sarah Bird, um, and Sarah's doing a phenomenal job uh, as CEO. I think I think better than I had done. I wish I'd turned over the reins a little earlier. And then she's got officers who report to her who manage each of our divisions: our, our chief product officer, chief technology officer, chief marketing officer, uh, finance, and, and HR. And then each of those teams have you know managers inside them uh, who run the small tactical teams that do. The work, and I'm I'm personally very passionate about individual contributors. I uh, I wrote a blog post a while ago called "If Management Is the Only Way Up, We're All Expletived," uh, and and I really believe that. So I'm I, I've taken on a role of of championing individual contributors inside the company, and, and we have some phenomenal ones. Yeah, that's very good, very good. Um, but, you know, any final thoughts? How how has 2014 been for you? It's been, you know, it's been quite challenging, I would say. The, there's never been more opportunity in the SEO market. There's a ton of passion around search. Um, search is growing incredibly fast still, which I think is uh, shocking to a lot of folks who felt like it might be a mature field. And you can see that in Google's recent quarterly earnings, where they grew almost 25%, um, which I think shocked a lot of analysts. The, you know, the wonderful things about it have been uh, an ability to grow our team and to get better with our software. I think frustrating parts for me have been feeling, um, feeling a lot of the challenges of scale. It is, you know, there's a, <laughs> Kevin, there's a surprising difference between, you know, what you, what a company feels like at 50 people and what it feels like at 150 people. And um, I've been working through some of those issues. I think uh, it's getting better. Yeah, very good. Got to wrap it up. Uh, by the way, that website over there, uh, what's your website first uh, before I give out Ju uh, Super Julie's? What's your website? It's moz.com, M-O-Z. M-O-Z.com. That should be easy enough to re remember. And, of course, you can find our friend Julie, uh, Super Julie, as we like to call her, at superinterns.com. Phenomenal as always. Thanks so much, Julie. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks, I, Rand. I hope the listener has a great day. I hope they spend it wisely right here on this station. Today's program brought to you in part 
by Abby Executive Suites, SEO 411, Super Interns, and Standard Supply.